I want to take some time to share a pro tip that's one of my favorites. It's designing your own conditional heat maps in Excel. Now, in my opinion, one of the most effective types of visualizations in Excel isn't a chart or a graph at all. It's a heat map that you can create with basic conditional formatting rules. So what we're going to do in this demo is start with a very basic range of values. And we're going to select that range, access our conditional formatting options from the Home tab, and we're going to insert a color scale from there, either red to green or green to red based on the context. And that's going to turn those raw values into something like this, a really powerful, really effective heat map that draws attention to these patterns and these hotspots within your data. Now you'll notice that you don't actually see the numbers themselves anymore. That's a little bonus tip here. To hide that text, you can apply a custom number format and set the type to the triple semicolon which essentially makes the text invisible. So a few different use cases here. One for very quickly identifying these types of patterns or trends in the underlying values using color scales like red to green, white to red, white to blue, or even a custom rule that you define. And then also for highlighting hotspots or outliers using these colors on their own. So let's shift gears into Excel and build one of these heat maps of our own. All right, so if you've been following along with the course, go ahead and open up your pro tip workbook and look for the conditional heat maps demo. It's a two star demo in our yellow visualization section here. And we'll go ahead and link straight out to that sheet. And what you'll see here are accident counts or frequencies based on the hour of the day and the day of the week. So I've got my hours here in row three from midnight to 11 p.m. I've got my days of the week here in column A from Monday through Sunday. And these values here represent the actual number of accidents that took place during these days and times. And you see I've broken it out a little bit here. Column B, I've got my aggregated counts, which are based only on the day of the week. In row four, I have aggregated counts based only on the hour of day. And then in this range here from D6 through AA12, I have the frequencies broken down by both hour of day and day of week. And looking at it these three different ways will help us identify and expose some really interesting insights and patterns in this data. So at first glance, you know, if you look kind of closely, you'll start to see some patterns, definitely some high volume, mid morning, midday, afternoon, and then it kind of peters out very, very low volume of accidents from two to 5 a.m., which you'd expect. But we really can't understand the big picture without applying some sort of visual aid here. And a case like this where values are broken out in a matrix kind of format like this, a conditional formatting heat map is a perfect choice. So let's go ahead and start by just selecting one of the ranges of cells that we want to format. In this case, I'm going to choose that main array or range of cells. I'm going to head to conditional formatting in the home tab, choose color scales. And as I hover over the options, you'll see them applied to the underlying cells. And you can choose whatever options you want here. The one thing that I would recommend is that you avoid using the default option, the green, yellow, red scale, because by default, high numbers are going to show up as green in this scale, as if that's a good thing. But in our data, a high number indicates a high frequency of accidents taking place, which is not such a good thing. So in this case, I'm going to choose the second option, the red, yellow, green, could also use the red white green totally up to you and just click to apply and check it out right off the bat these stories and these patterns are emerging like these cells here immediately tell me that monday through friday specifically at 8 to 9 a.m we have an unusually high frequency of accidents taking place and it really doesn't take long to realize that this is rush hour on the five work days of the week and then we have kind of a similar bump during the afternoon rush hour from 5 to 6 p.m. Generally speaking, the accident rates are a little bit lighter on weekends since fewer people are on the road. And let's go ahead and just apply that same color scale to the other two components of this heat map. There we go. And then I'll pick the column B cells, color scales, red to green. And there you go. So just by looking at you know, these other components like column B, 
tells me that regardless of the hour of day, Fridays tend to be the worst days in terms of accident frequencies. Same story here in row four, just looking at this row, regardless of the day of the week, 8 to 9 a.m. is pretty bad, 3 p.m. and 5 to 6 compared to late night or early morning hours. Now we've already created a tremendous amount of value just by adding that color scale. And in many cases, you may want to keep these values visible just like they are, in which case you could call it a day and be you know, 100% done, totally valid. But what if we don't wanna actually show or expose the numbers themselves? We just wanna pay attention to the colors and the relative colors in this scale. Well, we can't just delete the values, right? Because if we delete the values, the color scale, which is dependent on those values, disappears. So let's undo that. Um, we can shrink the text size down a bit, but we can't really get it all the way invisible. So what we need to do here is use a custom number format to actually hide the text or make it invisible. So what we'll do is grab all of the cells that contain numbers we're going to use Control-1 or right-click to jump into the Format Cells dialog box. And we're going to jump down to Custom at the end. And right here in this bar where it says General, delete that and type three consecutive semicolons and press OK. That custom number format essentially makes any text or values in those cells completely invisible. And note that it didn't delete those values. If you click the cells, you'll still see that those values exist it just simply displayed them as invisible. So this is a great tool to use when you don't want to overwhelm the user with the actual values. You want to simplify the visualization a little bit and really just pay attention to those hot spots using the color scales themselves. So there you have it, one of my favorite Excel tips using basic conditional formatting to create heat maps in Excel.